Howdy folks, it's General Heed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, I'll be showing you guys two secret vehicles hidden on the map sandbox. And that is hidden in the game files. Technically, they're hidden in plain sight, but you probably were never aware they were vehicles in the first place. Though, if you watch some of my previous videos, you might have an idea of what these secret vehicles might be based on the uh, the one on Sand Trap. <laughs> that one had a very similar secret vehicle. But anyways, let's get right into it. So for the first one is called the Sandbox Defender in the game files. And that is referring to the Guardians that shoot you with beams on when you get too far out of the map. Well, you may think it's the towers shooting you, but it's actually these little tiny uh, Da Vinci Code uh, style Easter egg balls hidden inside the towers that are shooting beams at you. Which I know back in the day that always sounded pretty crazy to say, but that is actually what's shooting at you. It's not the towers, it's just a little tiny ball. But uh, I'll, if you haven't seen that in my previous videos, I'll show you what it's like first. But those things are actually vehicles hidden, hidden inside the towers. And actually by default, they are actually quite drivable to players. Uh, only like a small change had to be made so that we could actually drive them. Uh, but the other thing we had to do is use a, the overload glitch to remove the AIs from the uh, from those vehicles. Otherwise, when we got the map, the AIs are still inside and they're going to shoot you and we can't force the AIs out. So we have to overload them to delete the AIs. So anyways, by doing the overload glitch, you know, you'll know it works when everything on the map is gone. But uh, now that the AI has been deloaded, we can safely approach the, uh, the towers and... We can go to any tower to do this. Uh, actually, you know, in when this when Halo 3 comes to PC, I might actually release some kind of map around this where um, players can you know get to this easily and use it. But anyways, just you know, up in the lights up here at the very top, we just drop down and we can get inside the vehicle. Now I'm gonna pause it right here, right before we got in. We got in really quickly, so like the text disappeared really fast. But basically, it said hold B to operate plasma cannon. Uh, I'm on bumper jumpers, that's why it says hold B. I remember back in pe back in the day, people thought it was like modding because um, it said hold B instead of hold R B because people weren't aware there were different control schemes at the time. Uh, but anyways, yeah, now we are controlling the this um, the Da Vinci Code Easter egg on this map, just like the one on Sand Trap. Actually, just like on Sand Trap, it's it's uh, you know called a plasma cannon. Both are basically the same thing, but on this map. You know, it, even though it's reused, it's actually a little bit different. It may look like I'm shooting there, I'm using the right trigger to shoot, but it's actually firing like an invisible beam that when, if it doesn't impact anything, you won't notice anything, but if it impacts something near you, it'll start flashing uh, that yellow, like, warning signal. That's the warning signal when you're standing outside the map at first. It, you know, it flashes and then it warns you. That's actually the, uh, the Easter egg firing like a warning shot at you, and it is hitting you, but it just doesn't do any damage. It just puts that effect on your screen. Now, if I switch to the left trigger, the left trigger fires the main cannon on this, um, I guess, I guess we could call this a turret, uh, but it's based off the plasma cannon, based on, you know, all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, so, let's, uh, get a better view, so that's the, uh, Easter egg, the Da Vinci Code egg, as people like to call it back in the day, and, you know, I can rotate it 360 degrees, but the, um, the beam does the beam can only be uh, pointed like certain angles and directions so it's uh, it, I can't really fire it all the way around or at myself even but yeah that's basically what it looks like while I'm controlling it so this is the first I suppose I can tell off the top of my head or I remember off the top of my head this is the first vehicle in Halo 3 or even the first turret I guess turrets are considered vehicles uh, but the first one that has like a dual fire mode where one trigger fires one thing and the other trigger fires something else. I don't remember there's anything else out there that's like that. Just if there is, then I'm drawing the blank on it. <laughs> but yeah, so last thing I'm going to show you about this uh, little secret vehicle is uh, what it looks like in first person. So this is me firing in first person. Now, um, like I said, this particular vehicle, just like on Sand Trap, if you saw my video of, of the similar one on Sand Trap, on Sand Trap, that, f that spawns the mines in the minefield, but this one fires the beam. Uh, just like the one on Sand Trap, all I had to change was the um, the seat position, or the seat marker, and that, that lets me get in. Uh, but otherwise, by default, it has an invalid seat that you can't get into. Anyways, moving on to the second secret vehicle. This one is actually in the forge palette of the game. 
but it's not listed on the vehicles, because obviously that, that would be too obvious, it wouldn't be secret anymore. It's actually under scenery, and I've actually done a video about this in the past, uh, explaining why it was a vehicle, but I wanted to cover it again and actually go a little bit further. So this last secret vehicle on this map that you probably never noticed before is the golf ball. What? The golf ball, you may be thinking? Yes, the golf ball is actually a vehicle on this map. In the game files, it is considered a vehicle. How can you tell it's a vehicle, though, without looking at the game files? Well, this is actually something that my friend uh, showed me a while ago, but if you spawn the golf ball and then you push it over, and uh, yeah, w once it rolls around a little bit, if you hold the uh, flip vehicle button near it, you'll actually be able to flip the golf ball right side up. As you saw there, it just moves by itself when I'm trying to flip it. But uh, you cannot drive it back then because it did not have any seats. It did not have a driver's seat inside. Uh, nor nor like a seat marker at all. So this time around, just for fun, I I fixed that up a little bit and I added a driver's seat to the golf ball so we could get inside. Now, I can't actually drive the golf ball. I could sit in it in the driver's seat, but the golf ball can't be moved. It can't actually be driven, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, at least not without like even more modding, but I just wanted to drive the golf ball and get inside this vehicle. And this is what it looks like when you're driving it, at least when using a Warthog seat. I could probably use other vehicle seats and get slightly different results, but overall it's going to be the same. You can't fly the golf, you can't fly or drive the golf ball. But uh, if you get in, you, you could move it around by like throwing explosions to you or by having another player push you around. But once you flip over, you get kicked out. And it's actually really hard to get a golf ball like perfectly upright again because it rolls around a lot. So... You know, you can try to flip it, but every time you flip it, 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 it keeps rolling. It doesn't stop. It's not like a vehicle, uh, like a regular vehicle where it stays, you know, flat. So it's best to just want a new one. Uh, but anyways, last thing I'm going to show you for the golf ball vehicle is what it looks like in first person when you're driving the golf ball. I, I know that sounds so silly to say driving a golf ball, but uh, yeah, it's, it is a vehicle and now we are driving it in the driver's seat as far as the game is concerned. Uh, but anyways, there you guys have it. Those are the two secret vehicles hidden in the game files or, you know, classified in the game files as vehicles that you probably never knew about. And that is, you know, the Guardian called Shrine Defender on the map and the Golf Ball. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and found it to be uh, very interesting. And if you did, as always, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments, anything you want me to check out or look into or any questions you have, just let me know and I'll do my best to uh, look into it. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.